Hello, everybody. This car is Ford Anglia, well known as a Harry Potter's car. She's a decent girl in the best age. She's 60 years old. That means that she's produced at 64 in Ireland, here in Ireland. Uh, the customer came before almost three years ago and he said that he has a slight steering problem with this car. It means that the front part of the car is moving left and right when he's steering his steering wheel. We check it out and we figure out that the front arms of this car are completely rotten. It was a big surprise for the customer because he thought that he bought a beautiful car, fresh painted, but the truth was that the car was made of filler, papers, flip-flops and construction foam. So we made a deal with the customer and we decide to do a restoration of the car, which is not the same thing like people think that the rep reparation and the restoration are not the same things. This car is completely rebuilt. First, sandblasted, treated with the rust chemical removers, all the other things. Then we made different panels of this car. Actually, all panels of this, on this car is handmade, which including doors, wings, boots, cross bins, roof, everything. There is no part of this on this car which is produced in some other workshop anywhere except here. Here I have some parts. As you can see, they are totally rusty and they've been on the car. So I cut them off and I made a new one. This can be a nice souvenir hanging in some Hang it on the wall in some shed. This was cross beams on, on the floor of the car. I will show you later where is the new parts and how they look like. And this was a sill. And inside was a filler and Japanese newspapers. That means that this car was repaired in Japan by newspapers. Here I have a few bits which belong to this car. As you can see, this is filler. That means that somebody was repairing this car with the, with the filler. And actually it was a pretty nice car. Customer says that he likes the car and the way how he's painted, but obviously he didn't realize that the car is a, excuse me, my French piece of shit. So when we cut it, this, we found filler. So I just let this as a sample how not to do the car this or this was like a reinforcement of something somewhere. Now I'm going to show you how that looks like when the car is done in metal. Here you are looking at old boot lid. It's rusty and it was very hard to find a new one or at least something in a good condition saw it on the market. So I decided to make a new one, brand new one. English wheel, shrink and stretch and other tools that we use in workshop. Here it is. Miss the frame, I still have to weld that, but it will be. I had a bit headache with this boot and I waste a couple pieces of tin, but at the end I get it because there is a wally and then is a hill and it was <laughs> pretty much ours on the English wheel, but in the end it fits and if it looks good, it's good. And inside I have a few parts which goes on the side of the car, for example, this tail was not there. I cut it and I made a new one, now the new one. I hope it fits on the place, yes, more or less, yes. There is a few brackets there, yeah, right, so. 
she's going to fly again, right? Let me show you something else. Here are the doors, and they were literally rotten up to here. So I cut them, I made the panel, and I weld. I'll show you from the other side. Here you can see the patch that I built into the car. It's like one third of the surface, door surface. Also, I rebuilt a frame inside. Now I have to put the glasses in, all the mechanisms to see how they fit or is there gonna be something else to be, yeah. Readapted, adapted, painted, welded, cutted or whatever. This iPod was completely open and everything inside is changed. It's basically a new thing. Yeah, handmade it. Floors, everything literally you can see from here to the back side of the car is brand new. Even this. Floor, sills, inner sills, middle sills, everything. Yeah, it's one decent handmade car. Like 99% the parts of this car was rotten, including this one. So I built this one. When I built this one, I figured out that the box which holds the petrol tank is also rotten. So I cut it off that and I built a new one. You can see it over there. Then I realized that these beams are rotten and that one over there is rotten and I couldn't get uh, accurate measures. So I left this sleeves movable. When I put suspension, I will weld them on the, on the right place when the time comes. Mostly this part is also handmade, including this. This was cut over there. Yeah, people when say 99%, I know, do they mean that? But this car, it is handmade, 99%. Also, I rebuilt the water channels on the bonnet. And basically, all the face of the car is a fruit of my imagination. Headlights, cut it off, build a new one. I hope you'll see it on the pictures. Now, the car is in the white epoxy. Here and there should be sprayed. Once more, check it if there is anything else for welding or grinding or whatever. But we are getting there. Borges is on the bodywork, Kevin is on the mechanics and suspension, and I'm still fighting with the, weld with the welding. We'll see how it's gonna go. So this is the engine from the Anglia. Um, it's been totally rebuilt. So it's got new pistons, new rings. The crank has been reground, new shells. Um, the cam's been reground and new shells in there as well. Um, all the valves have been replaced. Um, we're sticking new valve seal guides. I mean, uh, seals, the guides have been replaced anyway. So, as you can see, she's on the engine stand. So she's nice and new inside. Everything's all brand spanking new in there. New chain. Everything's brand new. Everything's brand new on it, so she'll last another 60 odd years. Got a clutch. It's been refaced. We found it hard to get the clutch for it, so we had to get the new um, new liners put in. So that's all done as well. So I'm in charge of the whole rebuilding the running gear engine doing the bearings and the axle, all the, um, all the mechanics, so. So the uh, fuel pump's been rebuilt. Um, I've 
just ordered some jets for the carburetor, so the carburetor is going to be like new again. Um, apart from that, we're just waiting for the valve stem seals and the cam chain adjuster pad, and she'll all be go back together. Then we've got new gaskets, and that's it. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, if you like this story about Ford Anglia, follow us on this channel, subscribe, share, like or not. This is a beautiful car, but stara kuća mala bašta, a u njoj Jugo 45. Hvala vam svima.